All right, to show you the downstairs, the way you get there, open these doors here, and it is three steps to get down. As you can see, down here, it's quite clean. If you'll notice, completely new upholstery. As you can see, this is well maintained. Several upgrades that I'll point out. First of all, this model has uh, upgraded hatch here. The normal one is a solid one. Also, what you need to know here is important for where I live in the in the south. This right here is your air conditioning vent. Air conditioning controls are over there on the wall. Um, this is alcohol electric stove. Everything works. My wife and I use this to make coffee on. Microwave, everything works. We use it as a cabinet just to show you the light come on. Just see it works right here. This is your main power breaker over here. Your main breaker panel. Um, you can see this is a sink with hot water and cold water. Um, let's see a couple other things your stereo here there's storage here there's storage underneath there's cabinet storage here there's cabinet storage here there's a storage pocket over here also under each of these seats here are storage like for instance we keep our our kitchen storage under here I don't know if you can see in there but our, like there's our coffee pot and other things down there uh, another thing that you probably already know if your light switches here Another thing you probably already know is that this, you can put the table here and you can have a dinette here. It's a, it's a good size and it's in good clean condition. Um, also you've got blinds. That's one of the things I love about this boat is the amount of light that comes in. You have windows that swoop down uh, compared to, to sea rays and maxims and a few others. There's just, Bayliner does such a good job about letting light in. Uh, we have that fan there because if you don't want to run the air conditioner, you can you can run that fan. It's a, just a regular blower fan, blows this way and covers the full boat. Uh, one of the things, this is, uh, I call it upgrade. This is not the factory uh, refrigerator that came with this boat. This is actually an elect, uh, a refrigerator cooler. It's not, it's uh, an actual refrigerator. You can turn it into a freezer or refrigerator. If you would prefer the factory refrigerator that came with it, that's no problem. I still have it. It's in my garage at home. But the reason I switched it out is because this one is far more energy efficient and it holds a whole heck of a lot more stuff. I did a self-closing drawer. When you push it in, it'll slowly ease in, lock into place, and it also has resistance. So if you're going down the lake, we've never had it pop open. So anyway, this is a 40 quart capacity which is significantly more than the factory um, refrigerator that came with the boat. But if you're a fan of factory, I still have that refrigerator. It just is really hard on your batteries. This one is far more energy efficient. Another thing I love about this is that we can... All right, I'm back. Not really sure why that video just ended a second ago, but I, I love this as opposed to the stock fruit refrigerator because you can load this guy up at home, run it in the car on 12 volt. This runs on a 12 volt or 110. So you can take this, load it up, and then put it on the boat and not have to bring an additional cooler with you to load up to bring to the refrigerator on the boat. So I've loved this upgrade, but if, again, this is not your style and you want the factory one, we've got that at home. Um, if you buy this boat, we're giving you that uh, factory refrigerator for sure because I would have no use for it. Um, another thing to show you. Uh, this is the bathroom. Let me open the under cabinet storage here and turn this on. You've got a little bit of under cabinet storage here. Of course, that's sealed for water. The way this works is you have the, uh, the faucet and it connects up here. That way you can take a shower. You can sit here. I'm six feet tall and over 200 pounds. This is not a problem for me to take a shower in here. You pull a shower curtain just across. There's a window there. Everything's in good clean shape. That little yellow stain on the floor is just a little bit of soap that spilled on the floor. That's not a stain. Um, it's a new toilet. Um, uh, and also another thing that I did 
that's really cool, probably the coolest upgrade on this boat, is you'll see this right here. And if you'll listen, I'll get close. This is a clean air system that is uh, an, an additional thing. They, you typically see these things on larger yachts. What this does is this is sucking air. And it does this when it's poured in dock, or it does this when right now it's on the trailer. This runs 24 seven and it's constantly sucking air. And so one of the problems that boats have is they tend to smell bad because they sit up in the sun or they you know, sit at the marina and then they get, they get let's that down. They get bad after a while. Um, well, anyway, this boat has 24 seven ventilation and that's one of the things I'm so proud of my boat on is that this boat does not smell. My wife is not bothered by staying on this boat because it does not smell at all. Um, another thing that I did is that I upgraded, I don't know if you can see this, upgraded right here. This is typically a hose. I went ahead a few years ago and upgraded to PVC plumbing because the hoses will foul and you have to replace them. Uh, but the run is such on this boat that you can run just standard PVC piping and it was it was better for me to use PVC and because of that you're never going to have smell issues from your uh, from your plumbing. So anyway, there's the, the toilet, there's the, the pump. I'm going to turn this off here, uh, give you a shot over here of what it looks like here. So turn that off, you've got a mirror there. Also, so there's if for a, a couple, there's a couple places that you can sleep. You can sleep back here. This is called the mid cabin. By the way, we do have a TV mounted right here. If you wanted to get back here. But uh, this is the mid cabin. This is a full size mattress. We upgraded that to memory foam, as you can see. Also, it's new upholstery. Another thing, this right here, these are the inserts that go up here in the front. For instance, I'm going to pan back to right here. This fills in for a queen size bed. You would take that cushion down, that way your feet uh, can slide in there and then you would have a queen size berth here. That's just the insert cushion, cushion that goes here and there's another insert cushion in the back. Uh, once you would, this is where we store the inserts right here. Once you uh, remove those, there's storage under there and this, this headboard here for this bed folds up. I'm going to come down here just so you can see in the mid berth. You can see this is where we keep our pillows and there's more storage. You can't see it right now, but kind of there's a little zip tie can I keep over there. Um, that's, um, this is a full size bed. I'm six feet tall, 220 pounds. Um, my, uh, my wife and I can fit comfortably on this and occasionally with one of our children. They'll sleep on this with us. This is where we prefer to sleep. Has a uh, window here with a screened in if you want to do that and take in the air if you're wanting to anchor out. Uh, another thing is, is I want to point out, I don't know if you can hear that, this is that clean air system. It's constantly sucking air. It's sucking air out of the cabin. It's sucking air out of the front bilge, sucking air out of the bathroom. That's what makes this boat pleasant to be on is that it's constantly being uh, circulated with air and uh, so you don't have any foul odors on this boat. More storage here in this cabinet. And I think that's about all there is to see here. In case you're wondering, that uh, clean air system upgrade is a, if you were to just do that brand new on your boat, if you install it yourself, you're looking at $2,000 more if you have somebody else do it. All right, I'm gonna show you the top. All right, you can see right here, we're at the top. You have the captain's helm here. You've got the upholstery is in great shape for the age of the boat. We replaced the steering wheel just to give it a cleaner look. All of the gauges work um, with the exception of the trim gauge. It works. It's just backwards. So down is up and up is down. Um, so you've got your control there. Of course, you've got the camper enclosure with this, with the bimini top, it was done two years ago. Also, probably the second coolest upgrade on this boat is the Magna uh, grill. And I, I've got some other pictures, I'm not gonna pull that off, but the Magna grill, where you can cook like a stove top or camp, camp top, um, or grill top, either way. 
So anyway, this is the boat. I'm going to add some more pictures. Um, it is turnkey. It is ready to go. The only reason we're doing something different. This is that table, by the way, right here that goes below. This table does set up right here as a post. And that right there is a bottle of oil. You're like, well, what's, he's got a problem? Nope. That is just the bottle of oil because we always do the oil change in the fall. So this boat has been winterized and it was oil changed at the end of each season. So anyway, it is ready to go. I'm not going to turn it on, but you can hear it's, it's ready to go. I'm not going to turn it on because the boat is winterized. Just as a reminder, the only reason we're getting rid of this boat is because I have five children and we just need a little bit more space. And those are not tears on this little rug here. That's uh, there's just a couple pieces of tape that fell down. Okay. Uh, if you're interested, let me know. Give me a call. Um, and also, if you're wondering what this loose stuff here is, it's just uh, taken down. It's the bimini top pieces. And it goes right back up. All righty. There we go. I want to give you a more cleaned up view of the helm. You get this right here. All of your controls work. VHF radio, very helpful going through docks. Have a Garmin, everything's good there. It's actually brand new. This thing, super helpful. Little sticker here, indicating all your markers. Anyway, that's that new steering wheel. This is the screened in window for down below. I just moved those buoys there up here. There's the dinette there in the back. Anyway. Great boat, it's turnkey, it's ready to go. The only thing you would need to do to get this boat going in the spring is put it in the water. It even has a full tank of gas. So it is absolutely ready to go. My wife and I have spent um, up to a week on it at a time. We never spend more than a day when we have our children on it. We have five, so that goes without explanation. But when it's just she and I, we'll run the Tennessee River it's always been freshwater used. It's never been in salt water. So anyway, great sound system. It's good to go. Bluetooth. All right. There's the Bimini top. All right. Give me a call. Make me an offer. Thanks. Have fun. Back it on out, Dad.